in this video, uh, we will see how we can upgrade the Fusion middleware uh, components like SOA, Web Center, IDM, OEM, ODI, OHS, etc. So if you have some idea on the Fusion middleware technologies that I'm sure you must have heard about some of the components uh, like SOA Web Center, okay? And upgrade is not a straightforward uh, way. Uh, you can say it is a kind of a complex activity based on many environmental factors. Okay, so this is the part one. And in this part, uh, we will see the initial uh, requirements that uh, you need to take care of when you're planning for an upgrade. And, and, and some of the steps that are the common, you can say about when we go for the upgrade of certain middleware components, then some steps are same for all upgrades. So we will see what all are the steps and how we can execute all those steps. So this is the part one in this series. And, and for sure, and soon you will see the few more parts uh, of uh, this series. So upgrade, as I said, okay, so upgrade depend on many environmental factors. So upgrade is not a very straightforward process because your middleware components uh, uh, are connected with a lot of uh, external applications and then some, they have a lot of integrations with, with, uh, with some more applications, okay, and then uh, based on that, okay, uh, your execution can take 18 hours to 48 hours, okay, but when we talk about the planning of the upgrade, it can take from couple of weeks to couple of months. Okay, so, so planning is the big task, but execution is not a big task in, in specifically when I talk about the upgrades. So let us see what all are the environmental factors when we talk about the upgrades of user middleware components, okay? So some of the important factors, this is not the complete list, but some of the important factors that you need to take care when you're planning for upgrades is about the certifications, uh, like GDK certi uh, certification, database certification, your OS certification, OHS server certification, SOA, IDM, OEM, WebGate, to depend on the kind of a component that you have. So if you have any one of the component of the physical middleware, then you should have a database in place, right? And then you will have a JDK is there, then your database and your JDK, you are in all the all the middleware components are running on, on some operating system, whether it is a Windows in, uh, or whether it is a Linux or Unix based operating system, okay? And so they have their own version. So what first you have to make sure that it is certified to run on that particular JDK or database version or maybe the OS. So for that, there is a certification list is provided by the Oracle, okay? And from there, when you're planning for upgrade, you can see that, okay, what exactly is the database version need to be for the version that I'm planning to upgrade and what is the certified database along with that one and what is the certified OS version and what is the certified OHS for that component, okay? And similarly, when you're planning to upgrade SOA, IDM, OEM, WebKit, then you have to see for the corresponding certified versions based on the kind of environment that you have. So that is a very straightforward process, okay? You can download the certification metrics from the Oracle website and then you can uh, validate all the versions that you're planning to upgrade. And second is obviously the versions, that what is the version currently you have and then on which version of the component that you wanted to upgrade. And then based on that versions, you have to validate all the component based on the certifications, right? Third one is about the middleware products installed in same middleware or Oracle home, okay? So if you have some idea of a middleware software, okay, that then in a single middleware Oracle home, okay, you can install multiple components, those can be integrated with each other. For example, you could have OHS in the same Oracle home where you have your SOA uh, and maybe IDM, OAM, and then WebGate. And then these are the software components that they are dependent on each other for certain kind of a functionalities. And many times we have multiple middleware products in the same Oracle home. So if you have a such kind of a situation where you have a multiple uh, or products or a middleware products are in the same Oracle home, then you have to look for the upgrade path or you can say you can say about the upgrade process of each and every middleware component because they have their own limitations they have their own process for the upgrade okay so because when you execute the upgrade uh, for a particular oracle home okay or a particular domain then it will take all the component whatever you have installed in your oracle home okay it will list all the components okay but they may have their own process of upgrade. For example, you have a web center is there, web center portal is there, web center content is there, and, and web center portal or the content can integrate with each other. And for some of the functionalities, they are they can be integrated with the SOA component, like for the work list. So in that case, in a single Oracle home, you will have SOA, you will have web center, 
portal or maybe you will have website or content with the SOA. So they all together are different products, middleware products, but they are installed in the same Oracle home. And when we talk about the upgrade path, so upgrade is completely different for SOA and it, it depend on their own environment factors. And then web center is completely dependent on their own environment factors. So you have to take care of all the components that you have installed in your Oracle home. And then you have to follow the upgrade path for each and every component. Now integration with external applications, okay? So because many times in an enterprise world, we have a integration with many of the internal or external applications, maybe some of the applications that is running inside your organization, or maybe you have integration with your third party providers, like maybe from the cloud, or maybe from the, some in-house applications, which is running in the client uh, locations. Okay, for example, you have a SOA IDM is running there and it is integrated with the PeopleSoft or maybe some other ERPs and maybe some of the, uh, of the software those are running in cloud or we, you may have integration with the cloud application. So you have to take care of all the integrations with the external or internal applications when you're planning for upgrade. And then now enhancements and exchanges in the new version. So, Basically, in, in uh, the new versions of the middleware software, so like, there's a continuous enhancement is going on to improve the uh, features and to improve the performance of your application. So in that case, uh, whenever we go for the upgrades, okay, there are a lot of changes in the new software or new versions. Okay, So you have to make sure that what are the new changes in there in the new version that you are going to upgrade, any of the functionalities that has been executed from, from the current version, any component that need to be disabled or enabled in the old application in, or maybe need to enable or disable in your uh, new applications or new version of software. Okay, So you have to take care of the enhancement or the enhancement. And for that, you have to go for the release notes of that particular version of the middleware component that you are going to upgrade. Now, when we talk about upgrade path, so the, the two important factors in, in, in the upgrade are supported versions. For example, in Oracle middleware, we have a 10G versions and after 10G, there was 11G and now we are on 12C, right? And then, based on the supported versions you can you can define you can define it as a minor upgrade or you can define it as a major upgrade okay so what what is what is minor upgrade and what is major upgrade so minor upgrade is about suppose that when we are upgrading uh, some version like from 10g to 10g from 11g to 11g or maybe from 12c to 12c okay so what does it mean you if you have certain idea of middleware then you are aware about that there are a lot of different versions inside the 11G, 12C, and 10G. Okay, so when you are upgrading from 10G to 10G, or maybe from 11G to 11G, for example, if you are upgrading from 11116 to 11118 or 11119, or maybe from 12 to 12 to 12 to 13 or 12 to 14, that is called a minor upgrade, right? And when we talk about major upgrade, so that means you are upgrading from 10G to 11G, or maybe from 11G to 12C, that is defined as a major upgrade. Second factor is about in place or out of place upgrade. So what does it mean? So in place is something that means same location. Okay, that means same directory structure. So if you have installed uh, your binaries of 11G or maybe 12C on a particular location, and then you have a domain at a separate location, then if you are going to upgrade, then your location will be retained. But that means same uh, binaries or where you have installed the software or the same domain will be retained in the same directory structure. But sometimes or many times, which is as of today, okay, when you go for upgrade of the middleware component, then you your location will be changed. Maybe so, for example, if you have upgrading from uh, maybe 12 to 1 to 12 to 1 3 or 12 to 1 4, then you have to install the binaries of the new software in a new location, right? That means your directory structure will get changed. But yes, if you are going for upgrade of domain, then the domain will be upgraded in the same location. Okay, so you can say about in that case, your domain upgrade will be in place, but your binaries upgrade will be out of place because your location will get changed. Now, before upgrade, let us see that what is the installation path of your Fusion middleware component. So for that, we have to first install the database, right, where your middleware component store there all the metadata and repositories. Then we install the Fusion middleware infrastructure then we install the Fusion middleware components like SOA, Web Center, et cetera. And then we run the repository creation utility to create schemas in the database. And then we create the domain and then some time we perform some post installation configurations and then we start the services. This is a very basic uh, process of the installation of your most of the Fusion middleware components. So when we talk about the upgrades, so you have to upgrade all of these components during the process, for example, you have to upgrade your database as per the certifications. You have to upgrade your fusion middleware infrastructure, right? Which is a web logic uh, framework. 
and then you have to upgrade your Python middleware component as well. You have to upgrade your schemas as well that you had created. And of course, of course you have to update your domain as well. So this is the upgrade path for all of the components that you have installed uh, during the installation. So when we talk about the upgrade Fusion middleware component, okay? So the first you have to install the new Fusion middleware infrastructure, right? That means if we, if we are, if you have Fusion middleware infrastructure 12.2.1.2 and then you are planning to upgrade to 12.2.1.4, that means you have to install the Fusion middleware 12.2.1.4. So in that case, if the existing path is OPT Oracle middleware, okay? And then new path, will get changed. So here in the video, you can see that it is a, it is displaying the same, that is a small kind of, you can say about a mistake. So new path in that case will get changed because for that you will have a different directory structure. Okay, and then the, uh, and then the installation of new Fusion middleware components. So the you will install your middleware components like SOA, BPM, Web Center, IDM inside your Oracle home. So that means your location will also going to be changed. Okay, so here some mistakes is that you can say about new path, you can consider it as an OPT Oracle middleware two and the existing path you can consider as OPT Oracle middleware one. Okay, so that means your existing path is going to be changed for your binaries. Your existing path is OPT Oracle middleware one and in the, for new installation, it will be uh, OPT Oracle middleware two. And since we install the middleware component inside your Oracle home, so that will also going to be changed. Right, and then you have to upgrade your database schemas. And for before upgrading database schema, you have a command that you can run anytime that is called a readiness, okay? Readiness checks, it, it creates a certain kind of a report, okay? Before you are going to upgrade your schemas, okay? If your, uh, your domain is perfect or not, all the component are in place or not, all the depend dependencies are in place or not. So this is the recommended way uh, when you're planning for an upgrade, you can run this readiness check you can run it any times, n number of times, and during even your production is live, it will not make any impact on that one. You can run the readiness anytime. At least it will give you certain kind of a picture that your components are ready to upgrade or not. And in case of any issues is there, you can review that and fix that before the upgrade. So first you have to run the readiness. Second, when you're going for upgrade schema, then you have to run the ua.sh command or that bat command without the readiness option. Okay, and then it will prompt you for certain kind of a parameters like to provide the, your database schema details and then it will do some pre-validations and then it will upgrade your uh, schemas. After that, you have to go to upgrade your domain that is called a reef configuration of your domain. So you, for that, you have a script reconfigure.cmd or sh inside your uh, Oracle home, Oracle common, common and bin directory. And you can run that command and it will again open a configuration wizard. And then with the help of that, you can follow the steps choose the steps and then you can upgrade your domain. And the last step is about upgrade your domain component, okay? For that, you again, you have to run the ua.sh, which you have run during the upgrade of your database schema. But the difference is that when initially, when you ran it the same command for upgrade database schemas, then you have to select the option, all schemas used by the domain. And when you upgrade your domain component, okay, then you have to select the option, all configurations used by a domain and then you to start and test your services. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you think this is useful for you, then you can subscribe for my channel and then I will come up with the more videos uh, on the upgrade shortly. Thank you very much.